The purpose of this study was to identify the potential clinical factors associated with the transition from acute to longer term opioid use in a community sample of patients. This is of critical importance given the widespread problems associated with uh, misuse of these medications and many people will suggest that it's actually a, a national epidemic because more people now are experiencing fatal overdoses related to opioid use than compared to heroin and cocaine combined. What we were interested in is can we identify at the time the prescription is provided risk factors that may lead to episodic or chronic use and what we clearly showed was that a history of substance abuse was associated with episodic use and a history of nicotine or tobacco use, either a history of or current tobacco use, combined with a history of substance abuse was predictive of either long-term or episodic use. So it's very clear that use of some type of substance, even, even nicotine, is associated with a transition from an acute to longer pattern of, of use. From a patient perspective, I would be very careful about ever using these drugs. And if there are any alternatives, including non-opioid analgesics or other non-medication approaches to managing the acute pain, that is the safest way probably to proceed. Because then you completely eliminate the risk of these medications transitioning into another problem that was never intended. For physicians, prescribing these medications. I think it's critical just to take some brief, brief history about substance use or a brief history of tobacco use uh, prior to you know, giving or providing these prescriptions. Uh, but I think more importantly is when if the patient will require um, further prescriptions that I think they should be very careful in these individuals that harbor these risk factors. I think the next step in, in this research is to uh, drill down uh, and find more detailed information about the potential role of dose and quantity of medication that's prescribed. Because it could be very possible that individuals that receive a higher dose or receive greater quantities of the drug with each prescription, those two factors alone could be uh, important uh, predictors of longer-term use.